And Mardi Hancho, what's good, baby boy? What's going on, my boy? Man, we finally got one in, man. Hella St. Louis people be hitting my my DMs, man. You know, for the De Hancho interview. All right. Is this the first interview? Um, no, this is my second. I just did one like a um, recently about two weeks ago. Okay. Yeah. 104.1. Okay. Okay. Now, St. Louis, born yeah. and raised. Yeah, born and raised St. Louis. Okay. What was it like growing up in, in St. Louis? Because when we're all over, you know. When St. Louis hits the headlines, it's always negative. It's always about murders and yeah. crime rate. What was it like growing up in St. Louis as a youngin? Yeah, that's like, like most likely what it is for real. Like especially in my neighborhood, like shit, it's a lot of that going on. Like yeah, yeah murders, goddamn, you know, motherfuckers getting paper for real. Yeah. yeah, it's a lot of that going on in my neighborhood. I'm from the north side. Yeah, yeah North St. Louis. Okay, yes, so sir. how do you, you know? Get, stay out of the, the fuck shit. Um, shit, just um, eliminate all the bullshit and all the um, fuck niggas. You know, just goddamn me. Just stay with the game, man. Just goddamn eliminate all that fuck shit, goddamn me. That's all. Just stay out the way. Yeah. Like, we just getting that paper, staying out the way for real. So, like, what, what's the number one like cause of like you know violence in St. Louis? Like, right. why? Cause St. Louis is so small. Right. You know what I mean, but why? Why so much? You know what I mean? Animosity. Like, why, why so much violence? Um, because it's so small, you know what I mean? And it's so, and it's, you know, it's, um, shit, it's just so small, goddamn me, and it's right there, you know? So everybody trying to get right there, you know, to that, you know? But it's enough paper for everybody, but shit, I'm just be trying to get in the oh, way and shit, for real. Yeah. So shit, that's why we just try to stay out the way, goddamn me. Yeah. Now, yeah. AMR. AMR. Right, hey, Amar, yeah. well, what's that? Your money and respect. Okay. Yes, sir. Well, and, see, but last time I came to St. Louis, I didn't really hear too much about you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it was when, right. That, you know, when was that? It was, was like, like a little it while back, two years ago. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I heard about a few of the artists, but I didn't hear too much about you. Right. Where, where did all this come about? Because right now I'm hearing you know how this in St. Louis. Right. Like shit. I really uh like I just got out, goddamn. But before then, I had dropped some music, a couple little hits, goddamn me. Me and my um big brother freak, shout out my, my big brother free free free, goddamn me. We um goddamn we dropped some little shit, so goddamn me, I got jammed up and goddamn me when I when I got locked up, I heard the streets was fucking with that shit. So the streets was going crazy off that shit that I had dropped, so when I got out, that's when I just pressed the issue on them, goddamn. Okay, so let, let's go back. Yeah. You just got you just recently got out of jail. Yeah, I just recently got out about um about nine months ago. Nine, nine months ago. How, how much time did you serve? Um like 12 months. A okay, year. so like a year? Yeah. All right, all right. Without getting too much into that situation, right. could you explain, like, you know, what was the reason for you to. to uh, shit, it was a case of drug trafficking. Okay. Yeah, but um, a case I had caught at the juvenile, I got damn it well back. So, how'd you get caught up with that? I mean, was um, it like a home invasion or like, how did, how'd you get caught with a drug trafficking? High speed chase. Speed in chase. another state. Speed chase. Yes, sir. And they caught, And they found the drugs in your car. Shit, they found them around. Yeah. Yeah, they found them around. And how old was you at this time? Shit, I was 17. Okay. So, yeah. you release music before you go to jail. Yeah. Then you go to jail and then you hear it like they fucking with your yeah. music outside. Yeah. So, this is like the take case situation to where it's like, you go to jail, niggas <laughs> is fucking with you, but when you go to jail, they really yeah, start like, fucking with you. Right. Yeah, like me. Yeah. Uh, Jane, Straight up. Right. Some so, shit like that. Similar. Yeah, so yeah. so you're in jail, and are they fucking with you inside or are they fucking with you outside? They fucking with me mainly outside, but I'm hearing a couple people coming in when I was still in the facility. Like, man, that shit, I'm hearing them bumping your shit out there. Like, you, you know, I, I dropped a couple songs, Small Circle, Run It Up. And then what got me, you know, to where I'm at, you know, for real now. Yeah. Them two bangers right there. So, yeah. So... When you're in jail doing your year, right? Right. How are you feeling about you know the buzz that you're getting? Like, are you believing it? Um, so I was believing it, but I wasn't really saying it, you know. So I was like, damn. But I was feeling it though, so I couldn't wait to get up out of there, you know. Mm -hmm. Then I had a set release date, so I knew when I was coming home and shit. So I was cool. Right. Yeah, so I'm you get, so you get out of jail. Yeah. You touch the streets. How are people? You know how 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 they you know how are they coming at you? How you know? Shit. First, goddamn me. I got out, my foot thought I was probably bullshit for real, cause I dropped a little single, you know, some old shit, so my foot probably ain't really take it serious, you know? Shit, goddamn me. 
I just got to keep hitting them on their head with them motherfuckers, you know? Just keep dropping back to back, you know? Made the streets take me serious, you know? And got their way back, yeah. you know? that was And it was on from now. Yeah. But, but how does it feel? Because it seems like a lot of times, street artists like yourself, y'all have to do jail time or kill somebody to get a buzz. Right. Like, how do you feel, right. like, like, how do you feel that you have to do some, some, some le illegal shit for people to start fucking with you? Right. Um, like, I feel like that, like, I feel like that's true for some, but I feel like before I went to jail, though, I feel like the buzz, like, I had a big buzz in the streets before oh, yeah. the rap. On some street shit? Yeah, like, I had AMR was a big, that's, that's big in the streets, you know? So we just transfer that over to rap, so they're just expanding like that. Like we been had a name in the street. Let me feel. We been had a name in the streets, you yeah. know, before the rap. So right. We just put two and two together. Yeah. And shit, made, so, it so, sense. so right now you a full time rapper? Yeah, I'm a full time. So you not in the streets now. no more? Shit, nah, I ain't really. Nah, <laughs> okay. Yeah, I ain't really. Uh, okay, that, no, that's what's up, man. Yeah, so how old are you? Uh, I'm 20 now. Okay, only yeah, 20, 20 years old. Yeah, I'm 20. So, you know, as a, as a, as a youngin, what was you doing to to, to get money? Hustling. Do anything you could, like possibly yeah. to get a dollar. Yeah, no, nah, not anything. All that crazy yeah. that shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> not all that crazy yeah, shit. Hey. Motherfucker scrambling that shit. But yeah, yeah. you know, maneuvering, hustling, hustling. Right now, I go to your Instagram, and you see kind of. I ain't gonna say anti-social, right. but it seems like you don't really just you fuck with who you fuck with. You know what right. I mean? You don't. You don't really too much fuck with a lot of people. Yeah. Where do you stand with the other St. Louis artists? Uh, they cool. I fuck with a couple St. Louis artists. I ain't really got no problem with that. Uh, I don't really know half of them, for real. But yeah. It's cool. I ain't got no problem with that. Uh, so you just doing you? I'm just doing me. Okay. Like, um, do you have like records with like Three Problems and uh, LA Foes and all them? or? Mm -hmm. Okay, is that something that the city of St. Louis wants to happen, or? Uh, I don't know, they probably would, though, I'd love to see that. But there's some good artists in the city type shit, you know? Some great right artists in the city, so they'll love it. You know, they fuck around the love for some shit like that, you know? So shit. But, so right now, you just focused on yourself? Yeah, I'm just fucked with the AMR movement, got yeah. down waiting on a couple fellas going, coming home, free, mm -hmm. and Bucks, Jizzy. Right. For the city game. Right, right, right. Man, I mean, that's crazy, bro. You only 20 years old. You, you the hottest in the city? Uh, yeah, hottest in the city. Okay. That's the big facts. I mean, St. Yeah, Louis had the hottest in the city. Yeah. Fuck, fuck, I can't say the best, but I can say the hottest. Mm -hmm. That's the hottest. So like, when you're around the city, you hear you hear D. Hot in the whip. Everywhere you go, goddamn, you go hear D. Yeah. Yeah. Man, that's what's up, man. So we at South by Southwest right now. What's the experience like? Shit, it's cool, got them weird friends, got them be talking about Southwest riding around maneuvering and shit. Yeah. Networking and shit, got damn me. Right. What, what, what do you think it's gonna take St. Louis to the next level? Cause it's like, St. Louis music is kinda like, it's kinda like how Detroit was, too raw for the for the industry. You know right, what I'm saying? Right. What do you what do you think is holding St. Louis back on a, on a mainstream level? Oh, Cause when man. we think when we think of when we think of St. Louis, we think of Nelly. You know right. what I'm saying? We don't really know about, well, I know, but for now, outside looking in, we don't really know about the three problems and the D Honchos and the LA Foles and the, you know, right. shit like that. What do you think's holding St. Louis back on a, on a mainstream level? Uh, I think the right song, for real. I think that's the right, the, the, the right single, goddamn me, the right song, because everybody one step away, one hit away, for real. Everybody already there, for real, you know? So, shit, one single away, for real. Yeah. One hit away. All right. Just keep working. That's okay. all it is, yeah, but yeah, I'll just keep working. Yeah. Now, when you start, when did you st start taking rap serious? Uh, probably when I just got out for real. That's when I really started so taking like it serious. So, like, eight, eight, nine months ago? Yeah, yeah, that's what I... Yeah. So, when, when serious, you start taking serious, it seriously, like, like, what did your mom, what did your parents say about you taking your, you know, your uh, career yeah, serious? That was fucking, yeah, that so, was they were supported from the jump? Yeah, that was a good move, yeah. So, so now that they see you have a buzz, I mean, what did, what did they say, you know, to all the YouTube views and stuff like that? Love it. Yeah. yeah, they love it. All oh, that. They support the movement. Yeah, yeah they support that.